Hello friends, welcome to another video on my YouTube channel and in this video you will learn how to utilize different GitHub repository to create your personalized chat GPT. It will have RAG infrastructure, it will have different model support, it will have chat history and it will have much features. So let's look into that. So I am here in a uh, page where I need to log in. I'm not sure why they have put this, but you need to log in. And before that, you need to create uh, your login credentials as well, but it takes any fake email address as well and password as well. So you can see I'm here in the web interface here I can, you know, chat, I can upload documents or remove documents as well. Uh, there is admin panel as well, where you can create new user and those user can interact with the interface with limited uh, functionalities. So there are much more to explore. So let's look into uh, how to first run this on your computer so the first thing you need is olama installed on your system there are many ways with which you can install olama for mac os and windows since i am on linux i have used this command and here are the models that are supported at this point and the list is you know increasing day by day but you can go here and check the list of uh, models and select the one that suits you so i'll you know use this fee 3 to uh, my local machine and for that i need to write or run this command so in my local machine, Olama is already installed and I have these two models already downloaded, but I'll still download one more model uh, for only demonstration purpose. Then I'll go to another Git repository, which is open web UI. So this is the same uh, web UI we were seeing here. So here, if you scroll down, so you know, you can see there are bunch of features, bunch of features here. If you scroll down to this part, example, Docker command, you will find the Docker command to run uh, open web UI with Olama as backend. So you can see this URL. If you have successfully uh, ran Olama on your machine, you will see this Olama is running on 11434 port. So if it is running on your system, then you can use this uh, Docker command to run open web UI. Uh, if you, you know, there are different version, if you want to use open AI API, then you can use this uh, Docker command. And uh, this is the simplest one without any uh, third party package support. Now, if you, if you successfully run that, uh, let me show you my docker status as well at this point you can see open web ui is running on my machine and that's why we were seeing uh, this interface now when it is running on your system and if you can't see the okay yeah let me go back uh, playground yeah oh, let me go back setting my bad yeah if you are not able to see olama models or anything related to olama you need to go to connections 
and here you need to provide this url which is this one where you see olama is running and make sure you don't use any backslash and check this you will see that server connection verified and you will save this once you do that there are other settings as well a uh, models so you know this button don't touch this button it will download all the models uh, from olama to your system and your system will hang so don't touch this model in case you want to download a particular model you can download it from here as well in case you want to delete a model you can delete it from here as well uh then uh there are few things on the interface that you can change in case you want to uh use audio you can change the settings from here as well uh you can run whisper locally and utilize it here as well and for image uh if you have automatic uh, 1111 instance running on your machine you can utilize that or there is uh, i think yeah daily support as well you can provide your uh, automatic uh, 1111 url here uh, here some uh, settings for chat as well and here for account as well you can change your password as well so whenever you you create this instance for the first time you need to sign up provide any fake email fake password and fake name and that credential will become the admin of this interface you will have uh, here in the drop down the list of models that are at this point in your machine through olama so you can select any model you can start a conversation maybe my machine is downloading something that's why yeah no we see the response now here in the document section i'll remove this document and very quickly uh i will download a paper and i will add this paper here and i'll save this it will take a moment to register the document yeah you can see the document is now registered if i go to chat and if i say hi yeah i need to select a model if i say hi and i say what is style tts2 you will see it is coming uh, from the uh, document here you can i guess change the models as well further you can provide you know different prompts further you can add documents into the chat in chat document to you know uh, utilize it so these are the some cool functions that this open web ui supports and with this you can create your own chat gpt like interface and uh, you know uh use it always running i i always uh have this interface running on my machine whenever i do any coding uh thing or any work so i guess uh, this is it from this very uh, quick video tutorial on creating your own personalized chat gpt interface and this is very powerful as well and before i sign off i would like to show that i have a community specifically for chatbots on nas.io and the link to join this community is in the description of this video 
you can join this community for free and i often provide free, free material on this community and also do live sessions on this community so you can check that out i hope uh, this video is informative to you and if you have gained some knowledge please consider subscribing to my channel it helps thank you for watching peace